guys, how's it going? Happy, I almost said happy Monday, but yesterday was Monday and this chick was MIA. <clears throat> I wish I could say I was in Miami, but sadly I was here. I was, yesterday was a blur, seriously. And people that were trying to contact me yesterday know it was a blur because cheers to you. How much left in my little coffee cup? It's actually not a little coffee cup, obviously. It's the size of my face, which is how I like my coffee cups. Ugh. God, I love Starbucks French Roast. Some of you have been asking, what's my favorite Starbucks brew? Starbucks French Roast. A little crooked, sorry. Um, anyway, I wanted to come in here. I actually have to hop on a call this morning. Um, but I wanted to, first of all, apologize. Workout hair. Sorry. Um, I wanted to apologize because I have been so erratic in my blog posts and my videos the past uh, seven to eight days, but I, I will tell you guys that it has really just, and, and I know I've probably been saying this for like a year, I'm always saying, oh, it's a crazy week, travel, whatever, and I, I'm transitioning into a, a totally different, what's the word I'm looking for? Lifestyle, but I mean, you guys know, like, for me to resign <laughs> my, my day job, right, and move into this thing where I'm pursuing, you know, my dream and working on my own, um, you'd think that it would be simple like, you know, well, you know, I resigned and now I have some time and I can, you know, take a day and maybe like chill out a little bit. No, <laughs> it's been nonstop because of course there's a lot of stuff that, um, you know, I have to transition, um, with my company where I've been working for, uh, for a while. And, um, there's a lot of loose ends that we both have to tie up and, and transition things to new people. So there's that. And then, you know, I totally forgotten with all of the travel that I had to buy a car. So then I had to go out and buy a car. Um, that was like a, a long day. Uh, what was that like Thursday night, I think. Anyway, all that to say, it's just been a lot busier. And actually, because of that, I know I'm wincing, but I was starting last night to get a sore throat, which you guys know, I really, really do not have tolerance for getting sick right now, in general. So it's gonna be time to take some Zycam. Ah. Oh and feel better. Do you guys hear my yoga music in the background? It's very subtle. See, I don't know if this is gonna be, I probably shouldn't call attention to it. I don't know if this is music that like is not, you know, popular and mainstream, so maybe I won't get in trouble with YouTube for playing it. See, I don't even know. It's not like I really think I'm gonna make money from my YouTube videos. Really? I don't even know. Now that was Amazon. Amazon changed, you can't in Illinois use their Amazon affiliates. Uh, thing anymore. So if I ever used to mention like years ago, do I really think that if I mention a book to you and say, you should read this book and put the link to Amazon on it, I mean, you make like a quarter. So it's like, I mean, unless you're some huge personality out there that has like billions of people reading your blog and, and acting on everything you do, you're just not going to make that kind of money. Um, but I don't even know if Google AdSense has been changed in Illinois. I just don't pay attention to this stuff. That's not the way that I'm looking to earn my income. Um, but anyway, I digress, as usual. Speaking of books, I do have a couple books that I'm reading now, and you guys have really started to ask me. I should probably share more um, on my blog about the books that I'm reading because so many of them, do you see that I was on my tiptoes? Oh, remind me to tell you something about feet in a minute. <clears throat> Carl, <laughs> you're probably laughing right now like, what's up with that? Um, <clears throat> Yes, I will do more shoe vlogs, thank you. You guys have sent me some really cute shoes uh, in the past week, some very fine ones. Um, and uh, I will share those later. I just had to come in here. I've literally got like five minutes to do a vlog in here and then I've gotta go because I've got a call. Um, but a lot of you have been asking for me to share the books that I read earlier in the year that really helped me to start thinking about, you know, the changes that I wanted to make in my life, the things that I wanted to pursue or not pursue in my career and, and you know, inspired me to change and inspired me to look at my life and reevaluate things and change things. So I've shared that with you guys before, but I'll put the link back up to those. But the books that I'm reading now, actually one of these is one I'm rereading, but I'm, it's more of a reference. Um, this was a really, really good book. It's not, I really want to preface, I didn't buy this book to read the diet excuse me, and it's not really as much of a diet book. And when I say it's not like a diet book, like when I think of a diet book, I think, you know, this is a book, there's so many books out there where they say, pick up this book and you'll lose 25 pounds in one month, guaranteed. And then they have all these crazy transformation photos. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, but that's not really what this is about. This is more about, oh, I hate trying to say this word, 
Ayurveda, I don't know how you say it, I really don't know how you say it, I'm going to sound like a moron, um, but it's about finding, you know, what your body type is and then kind of eating um, your daily meals in, in relation to what's best for your body. But a lot of what's cool about this book is they kind of show what each, why does someone have to call me right now? What, um, what's best for your body type and what type of yoga poses are best. And what I like too is like they'll have these, because you guys know I'm, I'm so into yoga now and it's so changing me. Um, each one has like a pose and then detailed instructions, um, which I really, really like. That's helpful to me because a lot of what I'm doing now uh, this yoga studio that I'm going to in Schaumburg is so awesome and they do so many different poses and then when I was down in Miami doing poses that i would never even done before so I like to kind of come back and look them up because the other thing that I think is really interesting is to see when you're doing the poses what part of your body you're working um, obviously you can feel it but like look at something like this so when you're doing this bent over pose, you know, what muscles are working in, which, in what way? I mean, sometimes if you've, maybe if you've never done yoga before and you hear people go, oh, it works every muscle in your body. Let me tell you, you become so much more aware of every, every part of your body and how it functions. This is bringing me back to what I was going to say about the feet. I have noticed, Kelly noticed, well, there were two things that when I was in Miami, Miami, sorry, Miami, both Kelly and, um, oh God, now I'm forgetting her name, the other uh, yoga instructor, Berta, they both noticed about me. I am, um, I guess it's double jointed, okay? So I can, this is not me double jointed, but I don't know if you can tell. Like I can, my arms will actually kind of, what's the word? Bow out like that. So in a lot of poses, Berta came up and she's like, you're actually pronating out this way. I don't know if that's the word she used. With my, with my arms and with my legs, I'm also, um, with my knees, like my knees can actually, instead of my leg going straight, I can actually curve back so my knee goes all the way back, which puts a lot more um, <clears throat> pressure on the back of my knee, like I, I'm doing it right now, pushing my knee, my, I can actually push, push my knees back, and that's how I tend to stand, as opposed to standing up straight further because <clears throat> a lot of yoga is about posture, and it's not just about your postures when you're in the poses at class. You really start to think about your whole body and how it functions and, and how you're functioning when you're out of class. So you tend to stand up straight. You tend to, you know, have better posture. Further, in a lot of these poses, in any of the one-legged poses, my feet pronate so poorly <clears throat> to the outsides that when I'm trying to stand on one foot and, and my whole body weight is is balancing on that one foot. I'm telling you, this is my foot on the bottom, trying to hold up my weight, and then further, you know, my uh, my calf. My calves are very strong, but my shins, you know, that whole. You, I'm just telling you, like right now, if I try to stand on one foot and not pronate to the side, like I can stand on one foot and pronate all the way to the right, and it's not shaking as much. The second that I try to shift and get my foot flat on the floor and have all of my weight flat here. Oh my gosh, I'm just telling you guys, I might have mentioned this to you before, but I'm start, this is what I have to practice on when I'm at home because trying to do, I'm trying to think of the name of the pose where you're, you know, um, you go into almost the standing splits, you're on one foot, your hands are out in front of you and you have one leg back behind you and then you twist in where, you know, your one foot is down and you're opening up. My leg is all like, it's like jello. So one of the things that I'm practicing on when I'm walking around my kitchen is just even taking my, say right now I take my left foot off the floor and I have my left leg bent right now. But if you guys could see my leg right now, we'll do a video about this. Once I'm together with Amy, we'll do some videos on this to show you. Um, it is amazing. Yoga strengthens not only your big muscles and your core and your balance and your, you know, your spiritual and your awareness, but let me tell you, it makes you so aware of the weak areas of your body that you didn't even realize. Like the fact that I'm, I am having trouble standing on one foot and putting all of my weight evenly into my one foot to balance shows you how far you have to go. It's really incredible. I mean, these are, these are the types of things that I'm getting out of yoga that I never would have thought. It's not as simple as you go to a yoga class, you work, I mean, you are learning so much about your body and you progress more each time if you allow yourself to do it. Um, so anyway, I'm totally addicted, but those are the two books I'm reading. And then this one, what's funny is I actually bought this book like 12 years ago, started to read it and I was like, I'm bored. 
Now it actually makes sense because it's kind of the stuff that's been transforming my life. So I'm totally into yoga, totally. It's, it's like, when did we go? Did we go yesterday? <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, I got a head in, I got a call. Um, he was, this was, you know, sexy yoga teacher, right? So he was holding chair pose forever. And then we were doing, is it warrior two? Um, I think warrior two. I mean, he doesn't just hold it for like 30 seconds or, or you're just going for a long time where you're literally like, did you go to read a book or something? <laughs> and he's not like telling you to come out of it. And you realize how hard you're working. And then there's just little instructions. And I'm sure that those of you that have been doing yoga for a long time, you're used to this, but <clears throat> say you're in warrior two, your tendency is to put all of your weight in your front. But if you focus really hard and he'll explain how to do it, your weight should be evenly distributed between your two legs. So then you're really working both sides in the most intense manner. I mean, it's just, it's amazing to me to have that and to balance my weights that I'm doing, where I, I really love to lift heavy. I've been starting to lift really heavy again. You see that it's such a balance. I love that. Furthermore, I tried about five minutes of that Physique 57 DVD um, over the weekend because I wanted to just test it out. I didn't feel like working out at the moment, but I wanted to test it out. Um, that's gonna be a tough DVD. So I might even do that later today and share with you guys that, and then I'm going to hot yoga tonight. Um, I've also started running, really enjoying running because I'm not setting these crazy expectations like I have to run every, I'm just going with the flow. I'm just doing what I like. I'm making sure I do, I'm, that I'm mixing it all up, that I'm doing weights, that I'm doing running, that I'm doing yoga, that I'm doing, you know, balancing it all out, and I'm so, the pressure's off that I've put on myself in the past, and I'm so enjoying it. Um, losing weight, I need to weigh myself this week. I need to see where I'm at because um, I'm feeling really good about it. And that's that. So here's the deal. I gotta go make my call. Wanted to touch base with you guys, say that I'm sorry that I've been out the past week. Um, and please forgive me, it's just been hectic transitioning to this new, um, new phase of life, but I'm very excited. And somebody actually just wrote to me yesterday, they're like, you're gonna be able to blog more. And I mean, <sighs> I gotta go. So yes, um, I will be back to regular schedule. I almost said regularity, which sounds like a bad commercial for like diarrhea, but <laughs> that's not what I meant. I just mean we'll be back on a regular basis with videos and blogs and all of that. So I will see you guys later. Have a great day. No excuses, only progress.